Hello everybody, today we're going to be assembling the COVID Stop 3D Printed Shield. The 3D Printed Shield consists of four different parts. The two central parts are 3D printed. You can use PLA, PETG, or any other material that's rigid enough for the purpose. The second component is actually just a PETG sheet. We're using a 0.5mm thickness 9x9 sheet, but if you want, you can also use larger sheets to provide a little bit more protection. The last component is actually just a TPU piece of filament. You're just going to snip off a piece from a roll and you're going to be able to use this as your strap. As you can see, it's very flexible and it'll be comfortable to wear. Now if you don't have a piece of TPU filament handy, you can always just use regular elastics or some kind of a stretchable elastic. The hook on the frame will allow you to use those. As you can see, the frame of the 3D printed part is actually very flexible. It's going to contour to a lot of different people's head sizes. And there's a little bit of a taper so that it's more comfortable when you're wearing it for long periods of time. The assembly of the shield is actually really simple. It's only going to take me about 60 seconds to put it together, but I'll take you through it step by step. Now the first thing you're going to do in the assembly is you're going to put your TPU filament into the hole in the back of where the straps go. As you push it through, you'll actually feel that the clips will clamp onto the TPU and you can adjust as necessary, but you'll feel that it is quite secure. And just repeat that for the other side. Uh, again, if you're not using TPU filament, you can always just use elastics and you can hook them on. One of the benefits of this design is that when you slide in your PETG sheet, all you have to do is slide it in and press it down and the friction will hold it in place. You don't need any specialized tools and you don't need a hole punch to punch holes at specific parts of the PETG sheet. Once you put it in there, it will hold it in place due to friction. You can actually use a larger PETG sheet if you'd like. For example, if you went with a 12 by 10 sheet, the edges of the sheet will actually be able to be accommodated uh, and it'll wrap around your face a little bit more. And finally, the last part is we're going to use the small bottom retainer of our 3D print piece. This just helps the face shield hold its shape all the way through. It's not absolutely necessary, but it does work better if you have a longer, bigger PETG sheet. Now, if you want to get really fancy and you intend to wear it for a long period of time, all you have to do is add a couple of pieces of adhesive foam to the front of the shield frame, and this will sit on your head and make it a little bit more comfortable for you. At this point, we should adjust our straps to make sure that the tension is right to fit onto your head. Now that you've finished assembling your face shield, go ahead, put it on, and try it, and just make sure it's secure. Now if you have a 3D printer at home and want to make some of these for yourself, please just download the files, follow the instructions, and make a few for yourself and a community.